Okay, so there's another add-on that we've got, which you're going to love this as well. Um, it's People ask me, can we ever set up a wireless uh, reverse camera for our, our iPad kits? And the answer was no for a while until I researched it. And we actually have come together with um, another company and we've put this package together, which is absolutely perfect, all plug and play, um, to allow you to have a camera that can record um, and be turned on any time and be put anywhere in the car. So normally you'd probably put it in the back on the reverse uh, on the bumper for reversing, but you could actually put it on the front. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. So once again, you've got your iPad kit set up and bought from us. The wireless uh, camera kit which we're going to be selling is it will look like this. This is the camera and the uh, it's a waterproof camera, bullet camera. It's very small, it's about 22mm in diameter. The kit comes with a saw for you to drill it into your bumper. It's got the power leads, it's got everything you need uh, to work this plug and play. The Wi-Fi transmitter, this is, is on a Wi-Fi transmitter because you obviously can't connect to an iPad um, physically through cables. Um, so it's a Wi-Fi transmitter. And how it works is you join it all together, which uh, in the package we'll have it all joined anyway. Um, you'll drill your bumper, your location where you want this. Uh, you'll push your camera into the hole. Run the cables underneath the bumper. We'll have a video for this anyway. Underneath the bumper, tucking them up. Pull it through the, uh, the back section of the boot. Where your CD changer is on the left, you're going to install the Wi-Fi transmitter because it's perfect location. Um, and you're going to connect all the cables together. With power, you need a 12 uh, volt ignition live for power. So the only 12 volt ignition live that we could find, which would always be on with the ignition of the key, is um, on our wiring harness for our iPad kits. So there will be a long enough cable for you to feed through the carpet. We've got a video on the best location to send that through. It probably takes about 40 minutes. Um, you don't have to cut no carpet, you just need to tuck and pull this 12 volt cable feed all the way through the carpet from the back seat through the passenger uh, footwell and then up the side of the gear stick and then through the dash. It's dead easy. Once you've done that, um, there will be a diagram and we'll show exactly what cable to tap into. You don't need to cut no cable or solder. There will be simple screw-on connection for a ground and a, um, a permanent uh, ignition live. You'll screw that onto the two uh, cables which we tell you to do and that will allow you to either take it out if you ever want to sell, want to sell the car without damaging any, any of the cabling or uh, and it will also allow you to just plug and play with no soldering. So once you're tapped into the uh, ignition live, that's it. So all you'll need to do then is go into settings. We've got this set up on our car. You go to, where is it? Wi-Fi AV, which is already connected to. Um, it will do that automatically. Um, or you can pair to it yourself. I've got other things that the iPad are actually uh, pairing to. Uh, at the moment but you just basically leave it to pair or click it uh, it's very quick so that is sending a signal back to the boot to the Wi-Fi transmitter and in turn it's sending the the picture back to the iPad so you come out of that then uh, you download the app prior to this from the App Store it's a free app there's doc, uh, instructions in in the kit which will show you which app to download and all you do is just click the app and there you go, you've got the reverse camera. You've also got lines, uh, grid lines, which are sort of proximity uh, dimensions. You can take those lines off if you want. Um, I've left them on there just to show you guys. When the video ends, I'm gonna cut them off so it looks a little bit more um, sort of OEM. It's about 10 o'clock at night now. It's very dark. I'm sorry about the quality in the camera, but uh, as you can see, well, that was my break on there then. As you can see, the camera works into, it's not a night vision camera, but it works very well under low light. Um, it works good, obviously, in the daytime as well. So 
Let's just drive around now and see what it's like. I've still got my brake light on there now. Um, so yeah, you can click it any time you want really when you're driving. Um, obviously don't get distracted by it. But you can uh, drive about with it on if you wanted to. The quality is still really good. It, like I said, it's really dark out now. This is street lights. Um, but the quality is really, really clear to be honest. For a plug and play system, it's a real neat little uh, job. Let's see how far we can get to this van. So my camera should start beeping soon. On my reverse sensor, sorry. So, yeah, the quality's really cool. You can put this, um, it's a reverse camera kit, so you could, you know, the ideal situation is to put it, you know, at the rear for the reverse. But you could actually put it at the front if you wanted to. Um, another customer said, could you put two cameras at once? And once again I said no, because none of this has been done. These kits we designed and we're sort of learning along the way what you can do with them. Um, and I said no, you could, there's no way you can, you can do this. Um, but I found out probably there is a way you can actually have the two. There's two companies out there that make these kits and we're partnered up with one of them. And I did try the other company's kit and they seem to have a different app. It's exactly the same kit, but it's a different app um, that you download. The iPad can only have one app at a time. If you could have two apps, that would be cool because you could have two accounts for Instagram. I've got two accounts. I've got a personal one and a, a business one. And I've got to keep on logging out and logging in to get uh, to where I want to get. If you could have two apps, that would be pretty cool. The problem with this is because if you wanted two cameras, you can't download two apps, so it can only pair to one app. Now, like I said, there's two companies out there and they've got two versions of the same app. So theoretically, you could, I haven't tried this yet, but theoretically you could download the two different apps, buy the two different kits, and have one in the back for reverse and, and one in the front. You can also record off this and take screenshots. So theoretically, if you're at a show, or you're nipping out to get some milk or something in the shop, you could click record on this and go to the shop for a couple of minutes and you'll know that everything is being recorded, um, you know, uh, for your for your car security. So there's that option as well. Um, so like I say, completely plug and play, no messing about. The only hard thing is running the cable through the boot underneath the carpets and up to the dash and the only reason why I say that is hard because it's just a bit of labour that's all you're not going to damage anything um, there is a, a cable section that goes down through the side of your car anyway so you're not going to get any lumps through the carpet so yeah if you're interested email us we've got these kits ready to go as well as the uh, in the other video the OBD2 port uh, connections as well cheers guys